Hey guys, what is up? How's it going? This is a market crash. There was a huge market crash this weekend, if you guys didn't know. And I just came in and I sniped all the all the steals. Um, I put a 1,200 puck limit for what I can spend, and I got some steals. I got a Tim Thomas for 800 pucks, uh, and I ended up getting rid of him for 7,500, so it's crazy profit. As you can see, I have 810 pucks. Uh, that number goes substantially larger as I continue to do this, and I got a Jay Bullmeister too, just crazy steals. Okay, guys, as you can see there I have 52k this is a day in advance from the previous clip I worked the market like crazy with these packs being out uh, the team of the year is still out you can still get them in premium gold jumbo so the market crash is still very intact uh, I don't know how long it's going to be here for probably another week that's what I'm thinking I just actually picked up uh, these players just to show you how cheap players are going for Golgoski for 250 you're saying well he's a low end player yes but I can easily get rid of him for 500 pucks by now there's 250 profit right there. That's all that. I, that's all that I did. Obviously, I tried to look for big name players like I had the Tim Thomas and Jay Bullmeister and whatnot. And I just picked up a Keith Yandel for 1K, so that's a steal. I don't know how much he goes for, but hopefully he uh, is like three to five K. I'll make two K or three K profit there. That'd be really really nice. And uh, Victor. St Dahlberg for 400. I can easily get rid of him for 600 by now. It all adds up, and all these players, these are the players that I usually go after. All the players in here. I got Gagne for 100 pucks, actually, so it's just crazy. And I did see a Evgeny Malkin with a bid of 60k, and it expired like that, and I only had like 52 at the time like I do right now. It was actually last night and I was so mad. So this is how cheap players are going for. People start them at 50 pucks because they're trying to open more packs to get these team of the year players. And if any of you guys do have the team of the year players, I advise you get rid of them ASAP. They're just dropping, dropping, dropping. I had a team of the year Keith once going for 250k. Now it's going for, I saw a buy now of 88, the 92 version. So let's just, I'll just uh, quickly sh show you guys what I do do uh, to see if I can get any steals. Mm, yeah, Jake Gardner for 200. That's really good. Easy to get rid of him for five. Then I just keep on going, seeing if there's anyone. Uh, Nick Schultz, yep. Welcome to you. There you go. Who else? Um, no one else, really. But I usually go after players with speed. Look at that. Goligoski for 600 pucks. I mean, I just picked one up for 250. Uh, Brooks like it's just crazy how cheap players are going for uh, this market crash is definitely the biggest one I've ever been a part of uh, or I've ever even seen but I'll go one more page just to see if there's anyone uh, so look at that Sam Gagne right there easy get rid of him for 1k uh, Henrik no yeah I mean it's just crazy so it is endless as long as you put like an hour of the time in, you're gonna make pucks I made 50k this weekend let me know what you guys made if you guys work the market or not I got all these players it's so easy guys it's so easy am I gonna get this Gagne too Pro probably all these players 300 250 200 400 1k and then 250 probably make uh, five to seven k here probably just a rough estimate ballparking it and if I get these guys it'll be quite a bit more I did get outbid there he's not worth that for me I'm just gonna get rid of that but I mean it's easy guys tell me if you guys work the market this weekend and if so tell me how much you made and keep on continuing to do this guys because you will make pucks regardless have a good one